That's true. Hot ass. Gotcha. One, two, one, two, 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 three. Welcome. Yeah, where's Tammy? Let's get on with Let's the show. Let's do it. Let's go. Welcome to the show, everyone. It is Friday once again, and we are here for you with Mixed Cocktail Hour. I'm Tammy Harrison. This is Scott Cushman. What's up, guys? Welcome. Welcome. Oh, I'm a little bit excited, but a little bit not, because uh, about our theme today. You're not a beer fan? I am uh, okay, not well, a huge beer fan. I, I believe that I will be able to change your mind. I believe that at the end of the show, okay. you will be at least a fan of beer cocktails. I like shandies. Okay. Shandies is a good thing. Sure. Um, that was my way to get more into the beer situation. You're from the land of the Rattler. That's true. Yeah. The, the, the Stiegel Rattler. Yeah. Yes, exactly. Um, so, of course, we have our, our shandies yeah. uh, in, in Austria. And my dad being English, of course, I grew up just knowing him only drinking beer. Sure, of honest. course, yeah. Um, so having beer cocktails as a theme today, mm -hmm. I'm intrigued. Good. I'm very intrigued. I hope everyone else is too. Well, I brought you a lot of good classics, plus some okay. spins on the on the traditional beer cocktail. All right. So hopefully we'll be able to find something in here that you are stoked about. Okay. Should we start? Yeah, Okay. Sure. So I'm going to have you make the first two cocktails. We're going to have oh. them uh, go at the same time. You want to grab those glasses. These are both as- Both of them? Both of them. What? Uh, you're gonna be making one in one and one in the other. These are as traditional a beer cocktail as you can get. It does not get more traditional than this. We're gonna be taking two uh, different uh, beer-like substances uh, and two uh, different stouts and putting them in there. Same stout, uh, both ways. Okay. Uh, we're gonna be doing it with, uh, I'll pass these to you. We're gonna start off over here with some Strongbow Cider. Ooh, that's the England for me. Yes, that's very, uh, very that's English. Your... Entry into alcohol in England, cider. And then we're gonna go to Guinness. The Irish guy. The Irish guy, yes, uh, 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 careful with these two. They sometimes don't mix well. Uh, you could have some troubles. Uh, but we are going to be adding these two uh, uh -huh. together. Yes. Uh, one on bottom, one on top to create something called a snake bite over here. And yes. then for the other one, okay. it's gonna be the same thing. We're gonna grab some of this Guinness and we are instead going to be adding, instead of the cider, we're gonna be adding some, some sparkling white wine. What? It is a wonderful drink called a black velvet. Both of these should layer, okay. and both of them increase the uh, complexity uh, to the Guinness. So well, snake bite I've heard of, black yep. velvet I don't think I have. Well, heard you're of. about to have it, and I Fun know. Fun fact about Guinness. Oh, hit it. Um, did you know that Guinness is one of the only, if not the only, beer that's carbonated not just with with CO2 but also with nitrogen? Nitrogen. It's a nitrogenated. Uh, yeah. Cell. Yeah, absolutely. And the only reason for that is because the nitrogen bubbles are a little smaller, so that's it makes it a lot smaller. Very true. Yeah. Uh, when I worked at the bars, I used to nitrogenate my uh, cocktails uh, of because, you did. well, listen, because carbonated carbonation has a flavor. Nitrogen yeah. does not. Correct. Yeah. Um, just has a fizziness. Do we have a bottle? I do. Up? As a matter of fact, I just had it and then I put it in my pocket. There we okay. go. Yeah. So crack those guys open. Wait, do I have to do which one first? Uh, yes, you're gonna do whatever the ones in front first. All right. Well, let me open this. First. Yeah. Hold on. Let me open all of them first. Hit it. Yeah. And then okay. you want to take off the top of that uh, champagne or the sparkling wine. Right. Yeah. Okay. Oh. And although it seems like it wouldn't, Guinness should float on top of these. Guinness has a different specific gravity, has a lighter specific gravity than these other uh, these other uh, I liquids. I would have thought they're heavier. You would have thought that the, yeah. that, yeah, no, it, in fact, it isn't. The uh, Guinness, uh, because it has much less sugar in it, won't sink as well. Huh. So uh, go ahead and pour uh, both of those into the glasses. Fill them about halfway The cider up. and the yeah. sparkling. Spider, the cider and the sparkling. The spider. The spider and the sparkling. Yes. Um, half? Yeah, about half. Boy, hold on, let me do this a little. Sure. Like this, might look a little better. Like that? Uh, little yeah, little touch more. more. Yeah. Boop. 
you like the champagne more, so I you know, can obviously, so, yeah. yeah. So yeah, you can you can adjust it however you want to. Yes. Uh, there is no exact to the science. Brim. Right, exactly. Uh, okay, and now how much of this? Uh, tip that one too. Oh. Okay. Um, and yeah, about halfway up that uh, that pint glass, maybe a touch more. I'll, I think I'll be drinking the uh, the snake bite. It's one of my favorite cocktails of all time. Really? Me and Bill Clinton. Bill Clinton famously. Well, look at you guys being in one. Very, very. I'm almost exactly sentence. like uh, Bill Clinton. Um, in more? Almost every way. Uh, yeah, touch more. Okay. There you go. There we go. Okay. All right. And now, just uh, top her up. Now you're gonna top her off very slowly, uh, and on the back of a spoon. Oh. So grab this. Okay. Shove that spoon deep in there, and nice and slow. You can pour it a little lower down so you don't have so uh, much room to well, travel. Well, I wanted to yeah. make the effect for the... The effect is fine, okay. but the, the, the floating is the way to go. For the television yeah. crowd. The TV crowd will forgive you for a slight... Oh, is it too quick? A little too quick. Oh. Yeah, you really want that to be... It's doing it, it's floating. Yeah, it's floating. It's going well. Oh. This is not one of those drinks that you want um, if your bar is slammed and no, you have to no, do no. it this slow. Yeah, and you know, it's probably easier uh, still. Oh. Yep, you missed the spoon there for a second. Yeah, uh, well, uh, I'm gonna call that it. I think that looks really nice. I think it looks fantastic. Yeah, I think you did a good job. You can see that there is a definite separation uh, between the two. Yeah. I think it's best to drink uh, to drink it without mixing it. I like to start with the Guinness, kind of that bitter tang to the Guinness, uh, and then uh, to end uh, over here with the uh, the last sip being a cider. Wouldn't it be the, oh, you drink, you don't have a straw? I don't have a straw. Oh, No, okay, no, don't okay. drink beer with straws. Oh. Don't drink beer well, with cause straws. Because it's a cocktail, I don't know. I am saying this out loud. It's not because it's just, of course, if you have Guinness, if you drink it with a straw, I mean, that, that would probably- That'd be crazy. Beat you to death. That'd be bonkers. A in any pub. bananas, yes. yeah, no, don't do um, that. But of course, you. I just thought because it's a cocktail. Nope. Okay. No, 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 always uh, straight. I, again, drink it however you want to. Just, just ask. You're either gonna have a sweet Guinness or you're gonna have a snake bite. Okay. Uh, do the same thing. Um, uh, for this one, uh, pour, so uh, put your spoon a little less deep into this one. This one doesn't mix quite as well okay. as the other. Okay. So just get your spoon right there. Like that? Yeah, and then very, very slowly. Yeah, I need there a we go. slant. A little it. bit of slant will do. There we go. Oh, yeah, look at that slant. Look how that slant helped it out. See? I've, Tammy coming up with a well, new fangled way. Well, because it's just better. Yeah. Just my gut told me, slant. Slant it. Like, grant. Yes. Just slant it. He's watching right now. Yeah. In fact, you know what? Uh, do you give me permission to uh, to uh, slap him right now? Well, he's depends sitting, for what? He's sitting right next to me. Oh, then. Does, does Tammy say that I can, uh, that you I can, can give just him give him a, a little flick? love slap. Okay, a little love slap. A little love slap. Tammy said so, Grant. A little love slap from me, Grant. I know he's watching, okay. with me. Yes. On the couch. Love slap yeah. to Grant. <laughs> uh, so those are the drinks. We have the black yeah. velvets. Uh, and we have the snake bite, two, uh, two lovely, lovely beer cocktails with only beer. Uh, if you want to get a little fancy, you want to really piss off a, uh, a bartender at a beer bar. Yeah. These are the two. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Hit them with those the, two. The top two out of the yeah. two that you should never order. Yeah, yeah. In any pub yeah. or any beer um, establishment. Maybe order six of them. Oh yes, yeah. one, but especially this one, we have to yeah. get extra slow. Absolutely. Uh, all right. Well, let me try. The, it's obviously not a straw. Oh. Obviously not a straw. No. Black velvet, here we go. Uh, now I'm not encouraging Cheers. too much drinking, but do try and get a big sip so you get some Guinness and some uh, champagne in there. Uh-huh. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, wow. As far okay. as Guinness goes. Yeah. 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 Well, because that's actually really good. <laughs> I'm gonna be taking this one. This is quite surprising. The only reason I brought in the second uh, version of the layered beer drinks is because this is my favorite. Well, one of my favorite cocktails of all time. Well, you know what I like about um, Guinness specifically? I mean, if you drink Guinness, you've got to kind of drink it slowish because mm -hmm. it, it does take a little bit of a you know bit of yeah. time. Shouldn't be slamming it. Um, what I like is that because Guinness has that malty sort of almost slight chocolatey yeah. flavor to it and that little bit of sweet bitter thing going on with the sweet 
champagne. Right. It mixes really well. Yeah. And you're right, you gotta take big gulps. New favorite Tammy cocktail? Favorite? No. Close. 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 As far as beer cocktails? As beer cocktails, yes. Number one. Number one. We are on our way then. So far, number one, for sure. Yeah, mm -hmm. good. Mm -hmm. mm. Yeah, beer cocktails, number one. But we got two more to go, so I don't know. We do, we have I two mean, more oh, to go. I mean, well, I don't know what that one, I can't remember what the, what the, um, what, the, the, what the snake bite is. Don't worry about it. Don't worry. Disgusting. Okay. You don't want any of that, All I don't right. want to share it. All right. I just want to say hi to everyone who's in the chat, by the way. Yeah. Can we just say that? Sure. Um, I'm, I can assume who's here. Oh, I know who's here. Uh, I want to say hello to uh, Alex, Amanda. Yeah. I want to say hello to Archer and Avalon. Yes. Uh, I want to say hello to Susan and Larry. Yes. Uh, Grant and Jen. They're nice. all watching this with me right now. Oh, fantastic. Yeah. Uh, I would like to say hi to Dixie, Larry. Uh, Danny. Uh, I want to say hi to Paul, who yep. I'm sure is here as well. I want to say hi here. to Cocktail Lulu. Yep. I want to say hi to uh, Killer Vamp. Yep. I want to say hi to Ash. Sure. Um, and whoever else is with us today. Yep. Uh, the, the, the Stricklands. The Stricklands. Hopefully are in the house. Um, and of course, uh, we have um, um, Queef Freak. Yep. Probably. He might be here. Maybe. Or she. We don't know who that is. We do. Moon Pools. All those people, yep. uh, thank you so much for tuning in. Hope you're enjoying the beer cocktail so far. Yep. Drink number two. Drink number two. Uh, one of my favorite versions, so uh, the Negroni. You've heard of the Negroni? Great story yes. about Count Carmillo and yeah. about his uh, his uh, bull riding and uh, the, the buffoonery, basically. Mm. Um, uh, the Negroni is absolutely one of those cocktails that has been torn apart and put back together millions yeah. and millions of times. I've even made versions of it. That's, yeah, for sure. Yeah, that, that doesn't tell you something. It's a really nice, like, basic pattern to build a cocktail on. Mm -hmm. So there's a great version of it called the Negroni Sabagliato. Mm -hmm. Sabagliato. Spaglia Sabagliato means, like, uh, the broken. It means a broken Negroni, basically. You take mm -hmm. out the gin, mm -hmm. uh, and then you replace it uh, with some champagne. Mm. We are not doing champagne cocktails today. So, I have brought to you, there's well, a we great- kind of did. Kind of, but it was beer uh, mostly. Okay. Uh, so we are also going to be, uh, so we're gonna be making a Negroni mm -hmm. Spaghetti Agliato. Spaghetti Agliato. Uh, it is- uh, there's Clearly a, one of yours. Uh, well, yes, it's a version, so there's a great website called Better With Butter. Uh, if Better With Butter is ever watching us, uh, I, I like them. They have fun stuff. They have a drink that they call the Spaghetti. It is basically a uh, a an aperol spritz, but instead of champagne, they use beer. I figured I would take it one more step uh -huh. and make the Negroni Spagliato in the Negroni Spaghettiato. I love it. And we are going to be doing that. So uh, we're going to start here. We're going to be building this one just in glass. Okay. The way. The way that that website does it is they actually take a Miller Highlight mm -hmm. and then they pour Aperol into it. Uh -huh. uh, so you just have a bottle, there's no uh, anything. We're gonna go a little classier than that, but okay. uh, not much. Uh, so we're gonna start over here by taking some of this Aperol. Yeah. Of course, a normal Negroni would have some Campari. Yes. I like a little bit more sweetness in this, so we're gonna be putting in- This is like the plan B of Negronis if you have only Aperol. Exactly. Yeah. Well, we have Campari. I just I like the uh, I like the Aperol sweetness of yeah. this, and I'll, I'll explain why in a second. But we need one ounce of some Aperol. We need one ounce of some Carpano Antiqua or another sort of bitter uh, sweet vermouth, okay. like a like a Punta Mess is another good one. Okay. Um, you need well, Martini Rossi has. Martini Rossi. There's a little sweet. Uh, but we, they need us. See, oh, they need let's us. not get into that again. Yeah, no, please. Please no. Hi, I'm Angie Dickinson, a girl who likes things with character. That's why I like Martini and Rossi Red, the wine with a character all its own. It's great at parties, before dinner, anytime. Because the taste is light, it doesn't overpower you. Speaking of characters, Bert, what do you say to Martini and Rossi? Yes. <laughs> yes, to Martini and Rossi. We need one ounce of a somewhat bitter uh, Italian vermouth. Okay. We then need three ounces of a uh, of an Italian beer. Uh, one of my very favorites when I was living in what Italy. What is that? Peroni. <gasps> Peroni uh, de Roma. Yeah, when we were uh, when I was living in Naples, mm. in, in Napoli, uh, the greatest thing of all time is parties would start on the street. Yes. 
whatever beer cart was selling the cheapest beer. Mm. So you'd always know where the beer was being sold, and it was always Peronis, and it was these huge Peronis, like the, you know, like, gargant, the like 40s, ounce. basically. Yeah, the 40s. But they don't have ounces there. They have, yeah. it's like 120 milliliters. Five or liters. Yeah. Uh, uh, and you could always tell which one was selling the Euro uh, Peroni, because that's where the party would be. I always oh. thought that was fun. Uh, we need three ounces of a. It's so a lager. Beer. A Pilsner. Lager, yeah, basically. An Italian one is what you're basically looking for. For some of the uh, Italian lagers, just somewhat sometimes have a, a touch more bitterness. We're looking for that bitterness. Yeah, and they, they're great. No, I Peroni love Peroni. Peroni in Europe is fantastic. They've yeah, been around since like the '60s, I think they've been around. Is that right? Yeah. They've been around Peroni de Roma. <laughs> they're from Rome. I know that. Oh, found Oompa. it! I found it. Yep. We are going to go ahead and drop. Yeah, don't you dare touch that ice with your fingers. Yeah, I know. Oh, uh, well, as you touch it with your fingers. Well, yeah. get over it. Uh, so uh, this is uh, the drink, but the one thing that I feel like most people forget about with the Negroni Sabagliato is that it needs this garnish. And you know me with my garnishes. Yeah. Don't care for them unless yeah. they're absolutely necessary. Yeah. This is absolutely necessary. You want to take the uh, just the rind off of a, a fresh grapefruit. And that's what the original, right? The spagliato actually has Absolutely. The, okay. Yeah, so, so and you kept that bit. You can do it with uh, orange, you can do it with lemon, but the the uh, and when 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 I have you taste this you'll you'll see. Uh, you want to squeeze the oils and you really want to give this a rub down. Now I know that this is like the douchiest thing that it's bartenders called a good do. Good old rimming. What? A rimming, yes. The rimming. Give it is a good old rim job. You just get your face real close to it and yep. rim it out. Rim I think it out. that's what you're looking for. That's what she said. Ha. Yep. Uh, the the more rims you get in there, mm -hmm. the better this will be. <laughs> that's what she said. As you sip this cocktail, you will notice something really fun about uh, grapefruit oil, and it has a numbing effect. So your your what? lips will tingle. Really? Nothing. As you drink this drink. Kind of a fun situation. So there we go, that is the Negroni Spaghetti Agliato. Spaghetti. Oh, it's Agliato. 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 Spaghetti Agliato. Spaghetti Agliato, um, uh, Negroni Spaghetti Agliato. That's right. Para mi, por, por mi, whatever. Cheers. I mean, a little bit, a little bit. A little of the- but I have lip gloss you on. You do have maybe, lip gloss maybe on, Maybe yeah. that's why it's not yeah. working as well. It should give you just say, a little tingle. It's really tingle. delicious, yeah. though. This is a great, because I remember I always said, because you were like, what, what are the, do you like the Negroni? I was right. like, yeah. You're like, what? Yeah. What? 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 This would be a version of the Negroni that I actually really enjoy, which yeah. is quite surprising because it has lager in it. Mm -hmm. Very refreshing. Very refreshing. It's almost like a bit of a shandy. It's very much, it's very in the shandy. There's a reason shandies work. See? They should, they work because of this. Yeah. yeah. Wait, get this guy out of the way. Yeah. Going in for another. Yeah, you don't want your nose getting uh, getting uh, numbed. It's very, you surprise me a lot. Yeah? Because I'm not the hugest fan of grapefruit either. Interesting. And I don't know why all of this works. <laughs> yeah, it does sort of, uh, it does sort of uh, get one of these going, yes. yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Mm. I gotta say. Yeah. Kinda like it. You can find yourself sitting, like definitely sipping on this at a pool. Oh, for sure. Uh, I mean, all day you can see, you can probably have 14 of these and be just sort of fine. Don't drive, but you'll be fine don't, yeah, to like- Yeah, don't drive. Dive. I you was can, gonna say, you, can you, swim. you can taste the 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 alcohol, but it's not one of those, um, it's, it's not a sneaky one. Right. It, it might be sneaky for some people. Um, but this is a nice afternoon. Yeah until the party really gets That's going. Right. Kinda, this is, yeah. You know, slam about 10 of these, have some food, and then uh, keep it going. Yeah. This is great. And it smells fantastic. Mm. It smells so good. All right, so far you blow my mind. Okay, so we have two uh, so far, and you, I yes. promise you, you would never even like the snake bite, so don't even ask about it anymore. Fine. Stop asking about the snake okay. bite. Um, uh, should we get into the last one? 
Yeah, I mean, I want my mind blown off a third time. I know one thing about you. Uh, Just one? Uh, I know one definite thing about you, and it's because it relates to me. Okay. Uh, you have become recently mm. a huge fan of daiquiris. Yes. Yes, good. Yes. Good. Okay, so I have created a new version of the daiquiri. Again? Again. Again? Uh, it's, uh, it's all, every drink mm. is basically a version of the daiquiri, but uh, so daiquiri beach. It cannot be better than your slushy, Daiquiri, We're about frozen to find deliciousness, <laughs> dream heaven yeah. drink that, that you made. That Dean came, you know, I left those two for us and then Dean came I and know. drank the whole thing. Yeah. I know. Uh, yeah. Uh, ding! Where's that thing? Thief. Ding! Drink thief. Yeah, yeah. drink thief. See? Ding! Yeah. Ding! Bing! Um, uh, so uh, the yeah. Daiquiri Beach is an old, so Daiquiri is an old Teano word. Some people believe that it means I am strong. Daiquiri meaning strong and re meaning I am. Daiquiri. Okay. Uh, I wanted to replace the sweetener in that mm -hmm. with something that would give it just a touch more uh, oomph. So you a mean the simple of, syrup in the there? The simple syrup. Okay. So I've taken out the simple syrup and I put in a more complex syrup, which is a Schwarzbier syrup. Yeah. Okay. So this is made out of I'm Kostritzer. So, I'm so proud you pronounced yes. that correctly. Schwa well, listen, I buy Kostritzer, so I used to live near Kostritzer, a uh, Kostritz, Germany, yeah. which made the greatest, it's called a black beer or yeah. a black lager, yeah. the Schwarzbier yeah. uh, lager. So that is what this is. Uh, you can also make it out of stout. Uh, I like it just a touch lighter, but a lot of people have a hard time finding. Okay, wh what is I'll that? I'll explain it as we go. Oh. I'll explain it as we go. Okay. So uh, let's make this cocktail. We're of course going to be making this like it is a daiquiri, so yes. we are going to be squeezing, I have just a little bit left from here, we're going to be squeezing three quarters of an ounce of some lime juice. There we go. Right in here. We also want to be putting in uh, a couple other ingredients. One of them is going to be some of this. This is oh. just a little bit. Love. Love Chambord, a yes. little bit of raspberry liqueur. Okay. Uh, this is the this is the king, I believe, of the raspberry liqueurs. We just need a quarter ounce, just a so baby delicious. touch. Just Chambord and champagne. Oh, fantastic! Yeah. The the Key Royale. Oh. Ooh. We also need some of this. This is Luxardo Maraschino. Okay, this is not looking like a daiquiri, right? Well, now. technically, this shows up in Hemingway's daiquiri all the time. So it does show up in a number and a bunch of other uh, Constante uh, daiquiris feature a uh, maraschino. Okay. Uh, I just needed a little sweetness because the the sugar that I have brought in is this guy, which is again the Schwarzbier syrup. So basically, what I did was I took a large bottle of something called Kostritzer, mm -hmm. which is one of my favorite beers of all time. It's a black lager. Mm -hmm. It's made uh, with the same ingredients. As a uh, as a Guinness with the you know with the dark wheats and all yeah. that stuff uh, with Real the chocolate wheats. Yeah, uh, yeah, a lot of very weedy, yeah. and then it's made in the same style as a lager. So it's cold, it's brewed cold as opposed to being brewed at room temperature. Yeah. So it gives it sort of a more crisp taste. Uh, melted that down, sort of boiled it out, and then added sugar to it okay. uh, at a very low temperature. So you don't- Normal uh, white sugar, brown sugar? White sugar. Demerara? Yeah, just white sugar. Okay. Uh, but but uh, the, the whole point of it is you gotta heat this up so that you don't affect the taste of the beer. You only heat it up enough to stir the sugar into it. So, um, wouldn't you be boiling out the alcohol? So yes, absolutely. This is uh, this is basically a non-alcoholic. Oh. So it has all the flavors. Ha. It has all the flavors of the uh, of the beer yeah. without any of the booze okay. and with a lot more sweetness. Okay. So we need three quarters of an ounce of this. Oh, you want to yeah, give that a smell and a taste? Yeah, I give it's that a delicious. Smell. Mm. <laughs> not a big fan. Mm. Not a big fan of beer. It smells so uh, good. You should actually taste it. It definitely <laughs> tastes different than it smells. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Mm -hmm. You don't want this anymore? No, it's fine. <laughs> So we need two full ounces of a Cuban style rum. So in here, it is sort of a sweeter version of a daiquiri, but it has to be in order to make up for the simple syrup that we're using or the, the sugar that we're using, course, which yeah. is 
um, beer, which yeah. is the beer symbol. So yeah. Stout or the, uh, sorry, the, the Schmatz Gotcha. Ready? Mm -hmm. One, two, three. Aggravation cube. That's right, the aggravation cube. <laughs> We're gonna pour this guy right into here. You get this Ooh, sort of pretty, actually. Yeah, this sort of uh, darker, just slightly on the darker side version of the daiquiri. Mm. Uh, do you have the uh, the Guinness top yet? So we're just gonna go ahead and squeeze this Guinness top right here. Wow. Again, normally you would use you could use a Guinness. Uh, but uh, instead, uh, I use the Kalschutzer, but Guinness also works. So a little Guinness. Uh, Is that uh, Schwarzbier difficult to get here in America? Uh, yes, it's not. I mean, it's not impossible, but there's no like, there's no major a specialty breweries. beer place would have it. Yeah, for sure. uh, there's nice. a great place in the valley called um, uh, it's called Vintage Wine and Spirits. Mm -hmm. They have the greatest selection of beer in the history of history. They have like 12 oh, wow. different Schwarz beers, but oh. that's the only place I know that has uh, more than say one. Okay. Um, so this is the what, what, what? Daiquiri. Oh, sorry. So the so the daiquiri is I am uh, strong. Oh yeah, I am strong. This yeah. is called I am stout. Like I am Groot. Like I am Groot. Like I am the Groot. The name of the drink is I, I am, am stout. stout. Yeah. Well, I am stout. Yeah. Um, Huh. Huh? Huh? <laughs> this is so Did odd. I sneak another beer one past you? You did. Do you, are you are you, you sensing the beer in there? I am, but a, a, a lot sweeter. Yeah. It's like I'm having a daiquiri and no one invited the beer guest. Sure. But they're just in there but like he's, he's the most fun guy in there. How He's like, hey, I'm beer. No I'm here to make your party you. so much better. But how are you so fun? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh mm huh. -hmm. I've been described that way a lot. Who yeah. invited him? Oh, but he's so fun. That's that's what this drink that's should be called. Yeah, that should yeah. be the new name of this drink. <laughs> Who invited him? But wait, he's so fun. <laughs> yeah, I am stout. Yeah. Wow. Okay, that's weird. Yep. Yeah. There you go. But this is like trickery beer. Yeah. It is not a uh, yeah. The way to get Terry to drink beer. That's right. I figured. Uh, no, to be very honest, I did not it's know great. that you were uh, that you were not a fan of beer. So I am well, very happy that I was able to share my love of beer with you. I did have a phase where I drank a lot of beer. Sure. And then I gained like twenty pounds. Oof. And then I was like, beer, <laughs> no, done. See you later. Right. Um, yeah. When you're hanging out at thirty three taps, and just going through the taps, Oof. just because I wanted to be like, why everyone's drinking? Like I was in a beer crowd. You wanted to be a cicerone. It was peer pressure. It was, it was beer pressure. Beer pressure. Cheers, Tammy. Honestly, Cheers. we yeah, should just that, end I mean, the show was, right I mean, there. I know, right? Just that run, was... a, run the, run the credits. Ah. <laughs> um, yeah. When I uh, didn't fit into my jeans anymore, I was like, okay, mm -hmm. no, I quit this, quit this beer thing. You know they sell jeans at the store. You just go buy I'm more sure. jeans. Yeah. That was my solution. Yeah. You come out, you go in with one size, yeah. come out with another. Yeah, yeah. Um, but yes, I am um, uh, surprised, to be totally honest. I would drink any one of these. Mm -hmm more than I would drink a pint of lager. Sure. Or Guinness. I love it. Or anything. We've made beer accessible to Tam. Absolutely. This is this is fantastic. I just I wouldn't know which one I would actually pick to be honest with you. I uh -huh. think well, I got to say I am stout. I am stout. It is the winner. Tip me. me over and pour yep. me out. That's what it is. <laughs> it's that it's that daiquiri man. Mm. I have a way with daiquiris. You got a way with daiquiris. Yeah, you just daiquiri made something whisperer. new. This is a this is a, a sweeter, um, stranger in the best possible way kind of daiquiri. Yeah. And I'm just loving your garnish here with your <laughs> squished. Guinness Can you imagine? I just thought of that right top. now. <laughs> I did. Definitely didn't bring that with me. What a genius! Me. Thank you. What a genius! Please applause, everybody. Thank you. I mean, fantastic. Who thought that? Um, well, I did think that you could bring something really great to the table here when we when we talk beer. Right. Didn't know you were gonna bring this. Okay, I more. mean, let <laughs> Alonzo! Oh no, you're not a Mets fan. Sorry, okay, uh, right, but well. A morning? No, the, the, Pete Alonzo, the Mets 
home runner. I am not much of a baseball guy. Oh, whatever. Home run. Yeah. Anyway, Mets fans will know exactly what I'm talking about. Yeah. Um, home run. Home run. That's what I'm saying. Home run. Short story long. Yeah. Uh, home run. I love it. Thank you, Kush. Thank you, Tam. Thank you, everyone, for <laughs> tuning in. Once again this week, we loved having you. Hope you tune in again next time we're here. Uh, in the meantime, of course, as I always say every week, check out our shorts on Instagram, on our YouTube page, of course, as well. Hop on over to TikTok, we're there too. Twitter, I mean, do we need Twitter? We don't know. Do we have Twitter? I think so. Uh, do we still, is Twitter still a thing? I don't know. Oh yeah, Twitter's still a thing. Is it? I don't know. It's pissing everybody off. Um, well, uh, we're going to enjoy these, well, I'm going to enjoy these beer cocktails. I say until next time, we love you so much. I'm Tammy Harrison. This is Scott Cushman. Cheerio. Nailed it.